Senior Profiles continuing on GoGrizz.com. Today we are able to catch up with Jackson Thebus. And Jackson, quite a season this offensive line is having. You in general, uh, how's it been so far halfway through? It's been great. I mean, we've just, we're have just we enjoying ourselves. We're getting better each week and learning more. So it's we just to uh, hope to keep doing that the next five games. You know, we've talked about the rest of the offensive linemen already, how you guys give each other a hard time and always been able to keep it loose. How much are you? How much do you enjoy that, number one? How much are you going to miss it as well? Mm, I enjoy it. Every day I wake up just... Can't wait to see Devin and McCauley and Max and Ben. It's just, it's great. And uh, but no, in seriousness, I, I'm definitely gonna miss it. I mean, seeing them every day, it may not be, the greatest, but <laughs> I definitely look forward to it. You know, your journey is is very unique from the way that you were going up through through high school, and then you didn't know if you were going to play college football. Let's go back to junior senior year of high school. Uh, for you, uh, when did that moment come that you're going to give it a shot at D3, and when did the light switch flip a little bit? Yeah, halfway through my senior year, I started uh, playing a little more and kind of started, I guess, caring. You know, I started working out a lot more and. And then after that season, I reached out to Division three schools in Oregon and Washington, Pacific Lutheran, and uh, Lewis and Clark. And I went to Lewis and Clark and loved it. The campus was great. Portland's great. And went there, and I played my one semester there, and I really liked it, but I knew I wanted something more. And from there, how, how, did, you need, how did you know you needed to get better, at least improve in certain facets, to, to play here at Montana? I mean, I just knew I had to get bigger, stronger, faster. I mean, I... When I first tried out here and didn't make it, I was going to be done. And then after a few months, I decided to rededicate myself. And I mean, every day and then on odd days, I'd work out twice a day and just trying to get in shape. And from playing in high school for Grady Bennett, what did he instill in you from, from the Grizz way, so to speak, and uh, being able to be a big contributor on the field now? Yeah, just, I mean, hard work every day, blue collar uh, work ethic and being, a, being the right person on and off the field was his biggest thing. And for you, what would you tell maybe incoming freshmen in now, what it takes as far as the workload and the determination you have to have to be successful where you're at now? Mm. I mean, just every day, like, it's not going to be great. You're not going to love it every day, but you just have to have the end goal in mind when you wake up in the morning and just do it right off and on the field. And for you, learning from Coach Germer, can you put it into words kind of what he's meant to you in the, in the last few years learning under him and obviously being a starting right tackle? Yeah, he's been great. I mean, he he's made us all the player we are right now. and. He just keeps pushing us every day in practice, in the weight room, in the film room. So, and from tight end to tackle, I know that we've we've had some laughs about it throughout the the remainder of the season, at least yeah. so far. But uh, when did you have that realization that eh, maybe a tight end probably is not your position? Yeah, they. Uh, I remember two springs ago, or maybe three now. They, I was tight end, and they were down on tackles, and I remember. Coach Greg was looking at me with a few of the older guys, and they were saying how I had long arms and kind of had a tackle body. And they were saying maybe after the spring break uh, week off, they were going to try me out there. And I just went along with it. It sure worked out for everyone. And when you talk about your family support, I know that they're uh, a big backbone for you. Uh, what's that meant and seeing them also at games and just having their support all the time? I mean, it's been everything. I don't think I would have been able to do it without my parents and uh, my brothers and my grandma. They've just been very supportive of me. and. Uh, Really excited for me. And also for this team, uh, getting better, getting towards that end goal in sight. We talk to everyone about how different this year's feel is. Can you put it into words a little bit? It's def definitely different. I mean, it, it may be that I'm a senior, but I, a lot of the guys feel the same way, that it, it feels different than last year. Any matchup that you go back on throughout your career and go, boy, that, that was probably the hardest guy I've ever had to go up against? Tyron Holmes, or I forget his name, but I guess it's three years ago now, NDSU, DN, he plays for the Chargers. I forget his name. I always forget his name, but he was, he was pretty good. Tyrone and Zach Wegman, though. Not too bad. Not too bad a company there. For you, life after football, have you thought about it yet as your journey winds down here and, and what you'd like to do? Yeah, I actually just took my GRE on Monday and uh, hope to start my application process to uh, graduate school for uh, clinical psychology. Absolutely. Best of luck for us this season. Thank you very much. Senior profiles continuing here on GoGrizz.com. That was offensive tackle Jackson Thebus.